Hi, welcome to this video with myself, Chris Gavaglio, where we're going to talk about sidechain compression in Logic Pro 10. So let's get started. I have two tracks in my Logic project right now. One is an Apple loop, which is just a simple bass line. And the other one is an Ultra Beat, where I've programmed in a very simple four to the floor kick drum pattern. That's what that sounds like. Okay, so very simple, fairly balanced between the two, but the kick drum is sounding kind of flat on the bass and they're not really sort of gelling together in, in any way. They just sound like they're coming from different places. So what I'm going to do is use sidechain compression to sort of duck the bass underneath the kick when the kick happens. So first of all, let's talk about what sidechain means. So a sidechain is where you take one signal to affect another signal. So in this case, we are taking the kick drum as a sidechain to affect something that we're going to do on the bass. If I go to the bass track now and just load Logic's compressor, so I go to audio effects on the channel here, go to dynamics, compressor, I'm just going to choose stereo here. So right now, if I just play the bass track, As you can see, the needle, the gain reduction needle was just hovering around minus five. So what was happening there was because I haven't sidechained, the bass is compressing the bass. So the, the bass is the input and because it's quite loud, it's pushing past the threshold and making the compressor compress the bass at about five decibels. Now, what I want to do is I want the kick to trigger the compression on the bass so that when the kick happens, this needle down and turns down the bass as the kick happens. Because compression is basically just turning down the signal when the input has crossed the threshold. Now, to set up a sidechain, I just need to do a couple of things before it's going to start working in the way that we want it to. The first thing I need to do is go to the track where the kick drum is and go to stereo out so where it says stereo out here this is where we can adjust where the signal the output signal of the kick is going so i click and hold i'm gonna choose bus i'm gonna choose bus one now logic is quite helpful in the sense that in the channel strip to the right here instead of showing me the bus the stereo out bus that we was originally pointing to. It's actually showing me the new bus channel that I've created. Let's go to the mixer, however. I'm just going to close this and move this over here. When we create a bus, we also create an auxiliary channel strip on our mixer that it sends down these bus signal to. And that's absolutely fine. It's going to Ultra Beat is going to bus one and bus one is going down this channel strip and it'll be processed by any plugins that I would put on it, which I'm not going to. And then it's going out to the stereo bus for the whole mix. Um, but now that I've done that, all I need to do now is go back to the bass track. So I clicked on the bass track header here, go to the channel strip where the compressor is. And then in the sidechain menu up on the top right, I'm going to choose bus one. Now it's quite helpfully telling me what is going into bus one, which is very nice. Um, but otherwise, I just would have remembered that bus one is where I sent the kick drum to, or it's my kick drum bus for side chaining. So I select that. And now remember the needle was just hovering around minus five because the bass input was loud enough for it to do that. It's now just going to work to the kick drum. And as I turn down the threshold there, the gain reduction increased when the kick drum happens. And you could hear the pumping that it was doing on the bass because the kick happens, it triggers the compression, the threshold 
determines how much gain reduction happens relative to the loudness of the input. And uh, it was just pushing it down, causing that effect. Now, there is some distortion happening and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is turn off the auto gain and turn down the makeup gain. And I was just adjusting the makeup gain until the two were basically as loud as each other, like the compressed bass against the uncompressed bass so that when I'm hitting the bypass, I can uh, listen to it objectively. Now, in most mix contexts, unless you're doing this as a creative effect, you wouldn't have it, you know, doing that much gain reduction. You do it just enough after you've done your best with balancing the two tracks. You do just enough for it to just kind of help let the kick drum pop through the mix as the bass kind of ducks underneath it. It's kind of like what radio stations do where they just turn down the music as they talk. That's kind of what a sidechain is. It's a way of doing that automatically. Thanks for watching. That's how we do sidechain compression in Logic Pro 10.